This has been one of the hardest videos I've ever made. Holy fuck. I had put all this expectation and pressure on myself that I was gonna create the most epic travel film of my life. For once, I was actually fascinated by capturing the little moments, not just the big, amazing, dreamy travel shots that we all know very well. I was actually more focused on getting the real, the raw moments in time. This was the first time I wanted to capture an adventure like I never had before. An actual travel film. Something that felt natural, but not too corny. What is this? <laughs> but what is that? To make someone happy with a dead bird. Dutch, well, we have a saying. Oh, in Dutch, we have a saying. <laughs> it seemed like I had the perfect recipe. My girlfriend, two new friends that I had just met, a badass 4x4 and a country that none of us knew anything about. Have you ever wanted to get lost on a volcano? <laughs> I never knew I was gonna. <laughs> this road is insane. Capturing these moments and telling these stories is something that I've always considered myself pretty good at. But in reality, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Our adventure went a little bit like this. A few days before, we sat in a cafe and roughly planned out our road trip. We had 10 days to jam pack as much of El Salvador in as we could. Driving our beast of a 4x4 up volcanoes. How much torque does this thing have? I don't think I'll make it to the top. Early morning surfs on nearly empty beaches. except for our doggo friends. See, look, he's so comfortable. Climbing up and down waterfalls. Of course, we weren't gonna miss the festival that was dedicated entirely to black Jesus. Guess who's here? Guess who's in the little church? Who? It's our good friend. <laughs> Mr. Negro. Of course, eating pupusas. So many pupusas. They're like a cheesy, meaty quesadilla type thing for anyone who's wondering. This was our not so perfect, but awesome plan. And here I was with an awesome opportunity to tell one of my best stories I've ever told. But it didn't take me long to realize I was putting myself in the same situation I have done many times before. Trying to tell a great story with no plan. <laughs> you gotta make a montage of me pissing on the side of the road. <laughs> it's like an hour long footage of me pissing. And only after sitting in front of my computer for days, creating not one, not two, but three iterations of this film, did I realize I was never going to be able to make the perfect travel video or really share these moments with you guys and do them justice? I don't want to sound lame and say you had to be there, but you had to be there.
Most of the time, the least beautiful and structured videos and photos that we capture are the ones we actually remember the most. <laughs> Maybe add this sound Please to that video. Don't publish this. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hello, Netherlands. Hello, Netherlands. <laughs> Telling our stories only gives people a peek into what really happened. The only people who will truly understand were the ones who shared those moments in time with you. <laughs>